We hope that this is going to be a quick recovery from the injury, the gluteal strain. Sometimes on certain positions, but they always have someone up the line. Imbro in the corner. Not a bad start for Shatori Walker, Kimbro in the Mystic. Heinz Allen with the rebound. That's why I call Maisha Heinz Allen the initiator, pushing the ball to the floor. That's something that we are used to seeing in this arena. Elena Deladon with the floater. He said that he's watching the clock more than he's watching if she's feeling okay at times because, you know, he doesn't want to overextend her as Atkins nails the three. Atkins again. That one doesn't go. Deladon with the rebound off one foot. Count the bucket and the foul for Elena Deladon. Five-second call on the other end for the Sparks. Hines Allen in the corner. Counting. But the defensive pressure that Washington has started this game with. Loose ball. Mystics wanted a whistle call. Walker Kimbrough slow to get up as she makes her way back down the court. Here's Tolliver. She counts it as finally the Sparks get on the board. Atkins. Hines Allen attacks baseline, gets around the defender, and Shanae Ogumake for the lay in. 17 of them against Seattle on Sunday, but an offensive weapon as well. Sykes, they try to go inside, eventually gets it to Ogumake as she lays it up in it. And stay on balance, stay on both of your feet so you can get back and recover quickly. Sykes read that beautifully as she was able to take it away for the lay in on the other end. Ogumake running the point. Spins off Hines Allen, comes right back to her right hand. Tolliver off the Ogumake screen. Drops it to her, goes to her sister, and Cheney has it blocked twice from Erica McCall. A great defensive stand there from McCall. Tremendous defensive awareness right here. Sister, sister, no ma'am once, no ma'am twice. Erica McCall. Resets, Walker Kimbrough, Cloud. Cross court plays on. We didn't know what they were going to do there, but it made it work. <laughs> Wheeler misses that layup. Walker Kimbrough in transition. Lays that up and in. This is. Weiss gets it back to her. Turns. Faces. Doesn't go, but Zealous is there for the cleanup. Much as the teams below that right. echelon in the league. An 8-0 run for the Mystics. Make that a 10-0 run. A beautiful move from Sydney Wheat. I'm with you, Maisha. Clutching my pearls, girl. Six on the shot clock. Della Don. That mid-range game. That's just grit. That's just want to. Stick your nose in there. Get the ball. Nine Allen with the bucket and the foul. She'll head to the line for one more. Elena's fourth, sorry, Chrissy, fourth rebound of the game. Hines Allen might have got away with the travel. Leilani Mitchell connects from long range, though. Two-man game right there. You see the switch, one to five by L.A. defensively. Hines Allen left all alone. Great find from Chavante Zellis. L.A. 4 of 18 in this ballgame, 22%. Here's Hines Allen, drops that in. She was like, I'm, I'm moving out of the way. I'm retreating. Her whole body language was like, you can have that spot. And she took it. Mia Coffey gets the three for the Sparks. Maisha Hines Allen, 12 points in the ball game now for the Mystics. Mia Coffey was starting for Neka Gumakes. Cloud, Hines Allen, attacking. Off one foot, drops that in. 41-17 lead for the Mystics here in the first half. <laughs> Here's Sykes. Nice pass back to Agumake. Has a block from Atkins. Great defensive play there from Atkins. Walker Kimbrough. Oh. Hanging. Oh, my goodness. Agumake gets easy post position down low for the lane. Yeah, it's been fantastic. In terms of the flow and the continuity that Washington has played the game with. It's almost like she knows it's going in every single time she lets it go in Elena Deladon. Points off of those turnovers, just under 19 a game. So Washington has done a good job of taking care of the ball. Ariel Atkins gets that to fall. So far in this first half for the Mystics. 
Sykes, nice drop off to Chineo Gumake as she lays it up and in. Yeah, great read there by Brittany Sykes. They call her slim. She's quick as a hiccup in there with the ball. Great read. Della Don, why not? I've been waiting for that one, Christy. And the intention to get in and get second and third opportunities on the offensive line. Atkins gets things started. You mentioned Paul Evans and what he's been able to do. And the great knowledge, and you were a part of the Olympic broadcast this summer yes. as well. So congratulations on that, my Thank friend. you. Thank you. Bucket list item for me as Christy Tolliver gets the sparks going. The excellence of basketball, not just in the U.S., but really around the world now. Yeah, how about that? That duo, the mom and son duo as Shatori walker Kimbrough finds the bottom of the bucket again from three. Tolliver back to Zowie B. Collects. Goes off last. Beautifully executed two man game there with Tolliver and Amanda Zowie B. Chrissy Tolliver when she was coaching him up. I mean, Mike Tebow told us today when you win championships, you have that respect of players, and everybody has the respect of that player, Maisha Hines Allen, letting it fly and dropping it home from range. Tolliver, the three, off the mark, gets her own rebound. Foul line jumper. This one bounces in. Finds Allen out in transition. The only undrafted player to be named MVP of the All-Star Game a couple of seasons ago, and her story is just an amazing one. Sykes, a nice backdoor cut as Neko Gumike found her. And that's the reason why she came here to D.C. to win one with Mike Tebow, who drafted her back in the day to the Connecticut Sun. Erica Wheeler for three. Coach Tebow at halftime and just what they've been able to do with taking care of the ball as Zowie B lays it in. So the first quarter, three turnovers. Second quarter, no turnovers. I mean, they went for a 13-minute stretch there at the end of the first half and not turning it over. And this is what L.A. wants to do. They want to steal and score. About two steals a game for her. A 7-0 Sparks run as Zella snaps it with that layup. Well, they needed that one. And you can say, well, look at the score. I don't care. It's how you are playing. Eric Wheeler again getting to the hoop. Count the bucket this time as she will head to the free throw line. Doesn't fall. Sykes with the rebound and controls for the Sparks. Pull up jumper. That falls. Deladon directing traffic. Has Cox on her. No look pass to Mitchell for three as she nails it. And Agumake trips over Hines Allen. Zealous, little pump fake gets Cox in the air. She had to do it. Dare I say control all delete? Hey man, listen. <laughs> yeah, do what you're gonna do. Just get it off the screen because that's what she did. Signed with Washington, seven day contract right before the Olympic break. But seeing some time on the floor this evening. Coffee right back the other way, lays it up and in. Rugged on the glass, but that's what you need players who buy into those kinds of roles. Ogumike, as the shot clock was winding down, gets that to fall. Just takes the ball from them and runs the other way. Oh, yeah. That's what it looked like. You have siblings or young kids, that's, you know what that looks like. Cooper directing traffic. Coffee. She gets that three to fall. That way is, is awesome to see. Jumper doesn't go. Chene Okumike, nice follow from Chene. Under three minutes to play now in this fourth quarter. 78-58 lead. Coffee for three. She connects. Almost the same spot. Players like Simone Augustus is going to be a WNBA top 25 team released soon. So tough. So many great players. After a big lead early, the Sparks cut into this deficit. And the Mystics will win it by 10 after that loss to Seattle.